Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of uh, <laughs> Donna New World. All right, so kind of bad news is we missed the last episode. Power went out while it was rendering, and it's it's fucked me up, I believe. Yeah. However, we have a quick recap of what kind of happened. That blue-haired guy in in the church, apparently he's pretty much a JoJo character in all essence. He's a, he's a guy you could see in JoJo. I don't know if he does the same kind of poses and all that. He just doesn't have the super muscle. I don't know. You, you haven't seen him like ripped off his clothing yet. What if he's just super ripped underneath? But just like Yosuke disguises. Yosuke's all. done it. He's like, oh, I'm just a little teenage boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking rips off his uniform, and it's like he can smush steel. It's it's spooky. But also, apparently, the reason that it fucking stunk like all hell was him. He has a perfume called Eau de Seduction, <laughs> oh, and it apparently smells filthy as shit. Oh, hey. But I, I, I guess we got rid of him because the mayor was super happy. He was super psyched. There's a lot of shit in this cave. There's a yeah, bear. Back the fuck off. No. Okay, never mind. I didn't dodge him at all. But we got rid of him. Let's mayor was happy. Gave us water spider. Come which on. Come on. They haven't come into use yet. Oh, I forgot to do that outside of battle. Oopsie. But I don't want you on the team, Peter. Okay, I'll <laughs> be better than you. Oh! oh. <laughs> but, um, alright. So... To round it off, we met Rain and Genus at this cave. We've been chasing down the Centurion Corps, and it's back in this damn cave. Um, Rain and Genus headed to Mel Tokyo. We are extremely suspicious of the shopkeeper, that whole ordeal. But Because yeah, uh, there was hinted that he Not actually, the original shopkeeper. Well, that, and he also got the... The, Celsius, uh, the core, remember? No, it was his son who got the core yeah. and returned it. Supposedly. Well, yeah, supposedly returned it. We're on our way to find out if that's true. That being said, though, oh, I can change my thing. True the ice elemental. What does it do? Nothing. Remember, switch my character too. I already did that. Okay. <laughs> While you weren't looking, I did it already. I deleted the note. You deleted it? What if we needed it? You don't need it. You don't know that. What if the president comes by is like, hey, hey, I'll give you a million dollars if you give me the notes you just wrote down in your iPhone. Who cares? It's not a public state of emergency for the president to drive all the way to southern Florida and gather information about Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. You don't know that. <laughs> but then he's offering a million dollars. You're saying that's not a state of emergency for you? That no. you just missed an opportunity for one the million dollars? The president's not going to be like, yo, why don't I just go to the actual people that made the game and, uh, you know, give them a million dollars? What if they said that he has to know what's up first, beforehand? What dicks? Before they... what? By the way, it seems like the same old puzzles. Yep. Kinda of weird. But this time they well, made it's a... the same dungeon. Yeah, I guess. It's the same puzzle except for the statue thing's gone and the door's gone. Yeah. The cool thing is though, this little ledge that had absolutely no use in the last one apparently has treasure on it. Now you know Treasure! How... <laughs> treasure! Looking down on me, looking down on you. It's a bunch of treasure. A fire cape. Fire cape. Swish swish flame. You know how much you bet it gives us? Protecting its ice. Yep. You want it? Might as well. You got a wind cape, so. You actually have two capes, by the way. Just put winds all, or <laughs> capes all around. I'm a swishy swish. Oh, another one. Oh, freeze. I do like the freezing effect in this one, though, compared to the old one. Yeah. It's pretty nice. And they pretty don't, nice. the blocks don't look like they're all the generic, generic same appearance. Can you I grab can't it? Push it from there. That's weird. You're not in the middle. Says you. You don't know where I am. How do you know I didn't go You're to Jupiter? You're nowhere near the top. How do you know I didn't go to Jupiter, freeze some water, and bring it back, and then it's make this intense. ice block? All in that one second. Oh, wow. A bomb a yeti. snowman. Yeti. 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 <laughs> oh, Peter. How could you fail so hard? I must run for battle. I'm apparently getting my shit slapped in my plants. Light. Oh, <laughs> you're trying to be a mage still? Dude, I don't, I don't know what Marta is. She has, like, healing spells, damage but spells. The thing is... She physical sucks abilities? as a mage, and she sucks as a physical fighter. She is nothing. Basically. <laughs> she is nothing. Like, she's you just mediocre at best. You just want to play as genius. Yeah, overpowered genius. <laughs> Freeze that shit. Gen. Freezing it. You can't. Says you. Watch this shit. Damn. Just as I suspected. The Sorcerer Ring! I was unable to freeze the entire back of time. We were here as well. Then what did you do? I was just about to explain that to you. God damn it! <laughs> yes, I see it here, but I'm unsure if it will have the same effect due to the influence of the core. Hmm? Uh, 
Oh, the water spider. Oh, that thing, the water spider. Oh. Oh. All of us will be riding on that little oh. paddle and slide it's across. Water spider. Now I can walk on water. Celsius. So Celsius was here, but now she isn't. Yes. I'm not sure. A friend of mine is a summoner who once made a pact with Celsius, and the summon spirit hasn't been seen here since. So that means Celsius is still with that summoner? That Possibly. That is the most likely explanation. However, summon spirits, unlike humans, are not physical entities. So I imagine they don't exactly stay with summoners in the strictest sense. Do centurions have much in common with summon spirits? More so than we do with humans. As I am not a spirit myself, it's difficult to say exactly. Summon spirits? Hmm. I would have liked to see Celsius or any of the other summon spirits. I'll probably see them eventually. Yeah. Oh, what the shit is this? Jesus. <laughs> Why couldn't I have this in the first game? A mystic cloak. Ooh, cloaks. Mm. Mm. The evolved form of the thief's cloak is... Wait, mystic what? cloak. Oh, uh, yeah. Show it to me. It's actually already you have. I think we made it. Or bought mm. it. I don't know. Oh my, guys, you remember how hard this puzzle is? Fuck that shit. I mm. walk there. <laughs> you can fuck yourself again. They're like, yeah, this puzzle was annoying. Let's just uh, fuck it's done. It's, up. it's out. What puzzle? The hell are you talking about? Oh, there's apparently a door behind that we I never remember. noticed before. No, oh, I remember that one. You do? I saw yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, this tier reaches even here. I would think so. It's possible that these flowers wrap around the entire temple. Dun dun. Don't. Can we just make like an entire bodysuit that penguin and shit? We've skinned enough of them yeah, before. We killed enough of them to make one. Should so be like a giant mound of bodies outside of the temple. <laughs> Just roll a ball through the door. <laughs> oh, you came here before? With Lloyd? No, with, with Jesus. Yes, with Lloyd. You mean I Lemon Lime. Why Lloyd lime. Won't explain his actions lemon to Lime. Lime. And the coconut. Maybe he really has been affected by the dormant centurion's core. Would make sense. If I were Lloyd. I'd never do anything to hurt the people who cared about me. Are you sure? Because didn't he, like... No, he almost injured Marta one time, remember? Yeah. So that's bullshit. Lime. He has so many friends who believe in him, but he doesn't care. How could he? You cannot harm Atram. <laughs> Atram is... Alright, I can't just fuck this. Circle. Yeah, fuck, 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 there's a group of fishies. And door. There's something to the left. left. Yeah, save point. Save point. Treasure? <laughs> we don't need a save. We don't need stinking treasure. Well, we gotta kill this thing. What is this thing? Killer Three. fish. I'm putting killer fish. No, piranha. I was absolutely wrong on both ends. <laughs> the remora. Remora! <laughs> I still just love dragging people up into the air. That that's something really big between the fighting style. But by the way, we're fighting Fenrir now, which is pretty cool. But that's something that's really big between the difference between Exilia main character and this one. Because in Exilia, in Exilia, I'm just like, I just out technique you in every single way, and I and just this, pound you with my fist. And this and this one, I'm just like, I will bring you to Mars, and you will die before you land. I'll take you to as far as I can, and then drop you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Boink. I was wrong. It's a very dragon thing of you to do. Dragon? Yes, pick you up and throw you from heights. Isn't that pretty much any aviation, avian creature? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But wow, we're actually fighting a lot of creatures right now. If only you had a really good AoE ability. Like this! Why don't you use the sacred sword ability you have? Sacred sword. Remember? You forgot to play that again. Okay, I'll show you. Prism sword? All right, it's down. <laughs> How could you forget about it? We were like, oh man, this ability is cool as shit. I don't know why he cast a spell right point blank at him. I'm sorry, I'm kind of dragging him into the new, the new world order. He's dead. You don't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> Togura 100% punch. <laughs> Since... What do you do if we entered one of those cutscenes that Togura ran nowhere to punch the monster? That'd be pretty intense. I'd, be, I'd be like, best game. I'm out. GG. <laughs> we don't need to play anymore. I don't need to play any other game. Doesn't doesn't compare. 
Octogar. Oh, I mean that this like some realm of either the demon realm or some. I don't think so. It doesn't look as brutal as the demon realm. I still remember. I love when like the boundary was starting to close down. All the demons were like, yeah, we can go to the human world now. Yeah. And then I don't remember who it was, but they're like, yeah. Try who was it? Who was it that just like shrek all the demons that tried to sneak past? Well, originally it was like the super commandos of so like the spirit world, and then eventually they just kept protecting it after um, everybody what just went, fuck it, here. we're going to the demon world. Mm. Oh, that's, that's not good. Maybe the shop owner isn't here yet. Yeah, if Lloyd had it, you'd probably see one of his weird posters around. Oh right, I forgot. Something's coming. Be careful. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, there's a it's Giga Yeti. Monster, a Merka. It must have oh. come here to escape the harsh Merka. climate outside. <laughs> Whoopsie. It seems to be extremely aggressive. Oh, what makes you say that? <sighs> We're trapped. It's okay, Regal. I know you didn't kill one. In he is like Togoro. In terms of pure power, I think yeah. he could be like Togoro. <gasps> what a Regal. Fought seriously with his hands against Togoro. Who do you think would win? Togoro. You you think Togoro? Yes. Really? Without a doubt. His command man that shatters steel like. And Yosuke's spirit gun, at full blast that launched him across the island in a trench. Yeah. It, far superior. The of the You're judgmental. I don't think you can withstand the possibility that there might be someone stronger than Togoro. Look at that, just fucking damage. That does so much damage, dude. Probably so weak compared to Fenrir. Fenrir. Shit, I don't remember. Spells! Spells! I was trying to do it for a while, but I was hoping to do it before you finished your casting. I'm hoping this finishes him off. It usually does a lot of damage. If not, my spell will. Oh yeah, you're getting him in the back. <laughs> got him in the back. So much damage that I did in total. I think that got him. I think that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> she just flies back. Like... Lando Calrissian. <laughs> Lando Calrissian. We stronger the main. <laughs> We scalped him. him. <laughs> We're like the most aggressive Indians ever. But we kill them and then scalp them. I or do we? we? Yeah. Not even close. Yeah. They did regenerate. I don't know we're if you know, they were regenerating like 100 to 200 health a lot. Like I was like, god damn. But then we were destroying them for like 3,000 each. No, no, no. We were doing like 400. <laughs> Fenrir was doing like 1,500. <laughs> I was like, eh, eh, Fenrir. The guy loses half his health. I'm like, okay, he's out. And I'm trying to finish my combo for my prism sword, but you're like, no, no, no. Shoot, monsters. Get out of the fucking light. <laughs> I was comboing them. <laughs> Get out of the light. It's dangerous for you here. Shoo, be free. I know I sound like a wimp, but I just don't like fighting and all that. Hmm. I don't like fighting. You wanna go? Yeah, right. Oh, we didn't talk about that. Okay, we have a theory about the Knight of Radicash shit. You know where he goes in, like... The red-eyed aggressive mode. Oh, right. Remember? Because okay, okay, that was in the episode that got fucked up. Okay. So, here is what we're super suspicious of. It's because in the very beginning, he had the red-eyed, super powerful aggressive mode, in right? In Palma Costa. In Palma Costa before the Night of Radicast thing ever happened. Before really even meeting Marta or anybody. No, it was it was she, it was was she when he saved Marta. Well, yeah, but not really met her. Yeah. So, mode before, but now it's... Happens a lot with the Night Rat Cast thing. We're like, what? What's up with that? What's the deal with that? That that's a very very quick, undetailed version of the theory crafting we were thinking no, about. not at all. That's part of what I like about you. No, uh -huh -huh. just looked over. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Not like me too. <laughs> By the way, something has been bothering me. Yes. What is it? I believe we may have been tricked. By the shopkeeper. What do you mean? The owner of Flanor's accessory shop assisted us on the journey of world regeneration. He was not the old man we met today. I knew it. You mean he's a fake? Then Glacius's core is... 
still with him. Quite sure someone from the accessory shop took Glockius's core as witnessed by Rain and Genus. However, whether they are bringing it back here is another matter. But why lie to us about it? Perhaps they're after your Ratatosk's core, Lady Marta. If you're right, we need to get out of here as fast as we can. Yes. Let's hurry. I doubt anyone can beat us. I feel like we're yeah. going to meet the blue-haired guy. Nothing. This is a feeling I have. I really wish there was more, like, people, people, new people that joined our team. That isn't. Like Even Richter. Even Exilia, too, only has two new people Marta. that you so, play as. So far. Marta. I'm sorry. Daddy? What, what the hell kind of scuttle was that? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy? Marta, your father's here? In this place? Marta, come here. I want to apologize. If she goes there, I'm gonna call her retarded for the rest of the game. Really? You hear me out? She's stupid. Marta, retarded. Hold on. Something's not right. Yep, yep. 100 percent stupid. And that Marta, stops you why. Marta. Are you okay? Oh, because there's like a three foot little we'll ledge to your right? Wait, behind you. <laughs> yeah, Mara's stupid. Come on, let's fight them. Kill him. But you're gone. No use for you. Kill him. Die. You wanna be Regal? Sure. If he's on the team. He is not on the team. Kill him. <laughs> I'm killing him, man. I'm killing him. Look at this. I'm killing him. I'm sending photons. <laughs> Spiritually, there are photons flying across. It's gonna the take a while. They're going to speed of light. You know, I don't remember how to switch party members in battle, so I'm, I, I would. Uh, but... I'll just wait <laughs> until the retard comes back. <laughs> you mean the person you have to play as? Yeah, Genus. Until Genus comes back. <laughs> Genus, where are you? <laughs> Leveled up with all his good spells. What in danger. Lady Marta will die if Ratatosk's core is removed from her. You two stand back. Oh. Okay. Okay, before we joked about it was Command Man. That was Command Man. Why don't you utilize that destructive power in battle? I swore that I would never again use my hands as tools of death. <laughs> well, then don't man. kill. With never it. again. You mean? Long ago, the woman that I loved died by my own. Do you have time to talk about this? <sighs> They're stupid. Scorn me mm -hmm. if you wish, but right now we have to save Marta. At least someone's on point. Doing something like that. There must have been a good reason behind what you did. Good reason. Lloyd, fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. Well, that'll be it for this episode. We're going to save the freaking moron in the next episode. Don't like, subscribe, comment on the bottom below. See you guys then. Peace. Peace.